Hi, and welcome back to our GCP Mindset channel. I'm Kelsey, and today we'll be talking about source data verification. More after the intro. How useful is source data verification in clinical studies? In recent years, much has been said about source document verification, or SDV. This is the comparison of information reported by an investigator to original source records to confirm its completeness, accuracy, and validity. The term SDV seems to mean different things to a lot of people. Some suggest that SDV is the most basic form of transcription checking, with a goal of simply ensuring that the ECRF matches the patient's medical records. The accepted norm for assuring clinical trial quality has been 100% SDV, but there is no evidence that suggests it improves overall data quality, and FDA and ICH regulations do not require it. A process that includes 100% SDV review can be very time-consuming and expensive. Has the time come to change how we approach SDV in clinical research? The ICH E6 R2 addendum, which encourages more efficient oversight of a clinical trial, drives the evolution of SDV ICH 5.18.3, or the extent and nature of monitoring. This permits flexibility in the monitoring approach, such as a combination of on-site, off-site, or remote monitoring, and centralized monitoring. Off-site monitoring, combined with meetings, investigator trainings, and extensive written guidelines, and centralized, statistically controlled sampling of data for verification is also permitted by the addendum. One approach to improving data quality begins through a quality by design approach before the data is even generated. For example, thorough vetting and design of a protocol often helps to reduce the number of amendments and deviations. Those identified risks that cannot be eradicated should determine the monitoring approach. This includes the level of SDV and centralized monitoring to be utilized to look for reoccurring patterns that suggest data quality issues. More than just a blind consistency check between the source and ECRF, Source Data Review, SDR, should focus on ensuring that sites follow the protocol and comply with the regulatory requirements that cannot be checked centrally, for example, IMP storage or calibration of equipment. The most practical monitoring strategy mixes activities like on-site monitoring and off-site data review to focus on the key risks. Targeted SDV and SDR can be used to focus on a controlled sample of the data for verification based on these key risks and linked to critical data and processes. In order for targeted SDV to be performed correctly, key data points must be identified, easily assigned to a CRA, and then tracked. The monitor's data assignments should be able to be adjusted based upon the site's risk. Risk does not necessarily mean a track record of poor performance, but outcomes that are more likely to occur. Risk can be identified on-site at an initiation visit or from an observation discovered through centralized monitoring. Actually, in the clinical research world, the dose makes the poison. The new challenge is to find the right dose of SDV, which is as effective as needed, but with very little side effects, for example, wasting time and money. I hope that you've enjoyed our video today on SDV or source data verification. See you next time. Hey there, don't forget, like and subscribe, but most importantly, click that bell so you never miss another video.